Good morning. I'm Pastor Jeff Gausted, interim pastor at Mount Cross Lutheran Church. Our scripture reading is the epistle assigned for this Wednesday in Holy Week from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12, verses 1 through 3. Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely. And let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy that was set before him endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such hostility against himself from sinners, so that you may not grow weary, or lose heart. Holy Word, Holy Wisdom. Thanks be to God. In his book, Sacred Sense, Discovering the Wonder of God's Word and World, Old Testament seminary professor William B. Brown charts wonder through the Bible, arguing that wonder lies at the heart of biblical faith. Wonder, Brown says, is not the same as unadulterated joy or a banial and passing interest. Instead, the astonishment of wonder can be coupled with both fear and desire. He says, on the one hand, wonder carries the unsettling element of bewilderment. On the other hand, there is the element of insatiable curiosity or the passionate desire to know. Wonder thus bears an inner tension. Brown points to the resurrection account in Mark's gospel, which he dubs the gospel of fear, the gospel reading we will hear this coming Easter Sunday as an example of the generative wonderment born of fear. The women run, fleeing the tomb, Mark says, for terror and amazement had seized them, and they say nothing to anyone for they were afraid. Brown says that the root of such fear is Christ's unexpected resurrection, an event deemed unfathomable and insurgent, resisting all sense of closure and containment. Resurrection is beyond mental grasping because it heralds the unimaginable, an empty tomb emptied of death. The other gospel resurrection stories, Luke, for example, seem to chafe against wonder, preferring instead an answer-filled certainty. At least as far as the disciples go, the great mysteries surrounding resurrection are solved, enclosed, and contained. There's nothing much left to wonder about, no ghosts left to haunt and stir our sense of wonder. So I have a challenge for us in our Easter observance this time around. Don't let anyone suck the wonder out of the resurrection from you. Don't be in such a hurry to explain things that you foreclose the opportunity to linger in astonishment. Don't be so eager to feel unafraid that you do not allow astonishment and skepticism and fear to prompt you into wonder. If our faith is stripped of wonder, we are left with a set of theological claims that we have to defend. Our posture towards God and towards each other is closed off as we hold on to our answers. But wonder allows us to admit that faith is full of mystery and that there is no secret Gnostic code to unbreak the meanings of Scripture. Because, and this is most crucial, wonder reminds us that we need each other, a community of interpreters, believers, and doubters, to navigate the terror and bewilderment that comes with life and death in this world. During these days of Holy Week, may you discover and be filled with astonishment and wonder. 
may you be fully encounter Christ. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son, our Savior, suffered at human hands and endured the shame of the cross. Grant that we may walk in the way of his cross and find it the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask it to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let your holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time together. May your day and all the days of this holy week be full of hope, faith, and love. Christ's love. Go with this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.